welcome back guys to our youtube channel we thank you so much for the likes that we had in our previous video so today we are going to talk about top 10 cheap and reliable cars in the kenyan market so kindly stay with us till the end of the video so guys number 10 on this list we have the toyota axio and its compatriot which is filder they are just the same cars the only difference is one is a sedan and another one is a station wagon this car was first introduced in 2006 its tank size is 1.5 to 1.8 liters and uh, it does 16.4 to 20 kilometers per liter that is petrol the hybrid one is a bit better because that one will do 33.8 kilometers per liter which is fantastic spares are easily available of course being a toyota you'll get them uh the passengers are five passengers who will sit comfortably with the good headroom and good legroom it's definitely durable it rarely breaks down and you can confirm from any mechanic in kenya axio and filter are very good the prices will range between 1.4 to 1.5 million but the latest models can go up to 1.6 million so guys at number nine we've decided to go with mazda atenza so Mazda Atenza is a five-seater sedan and also the Mazda comes with a hatchback. So you, can, you have an option of choosing between the two. So uh, with the engine capacity of this car, it depends with uh, the petrol or the diesel. With the diesel, it goes with 2000cc and a petrol has a 2500cc. This car is fairly fuel economical. It can take you 13 to 14 kilometers of fuel and um, so this car has a very slick design has modern looks uh, it's spacious comfortable uh, in the front the headlights and the grille gives it a very good look so um, in the kenyan market nowadays the spare parts are readily available since mazda has really come into the country and uh, for the price range of this car we uh, it's from 1.4 million kenyan shillings to 1.7 kenyan mil million shillings so guys at number eight we've chosen Toyota Auris so this is simply because uh, Toyota Auris is a little bit cheaper than the first two cars in the list so Toyota Auris comes in with the number of engines we have the 1000 cc we have 1500 cc and we have 1800 cc so all these engines runs only on petrol uh, so in order for this uh, to fill this fuel tank you will take you up to 45 liters of petrol uh, these both engines, we have the internal combustion engine and we have the hybrid engines. So for the hybrid engine, it will take you 27 kilometers with only a liter of fuel. While the internal combustion engine, it uses one liter for 19 kilometers. So also this being a hatchback, it's a five passenger car. It's a lightweight car. And uh, in the Kenyan market, being a Toyota, the spare parts are very readily available. So the price range for this car is... Uh, 1.5 million to 1.9 million Kenyan shillings. Okay, guys, at number seven, here comes another Toyota on the list. This is called Toyota Ractis. The first version came out in 2005, though the one we are talking about is the 2014 version. Fuel consumption, perfect. It has a 1.5 liter and it will do 18.2 kilometers per liter. So far in this category, we don't have a hybrid yet. This is a common car, so you expect the spares will be available in any garage within this country. It's a hatchback, so it will take or it will carry five passengers with enough legroom and perfect headroom. A durability, oh, being a Toyota, you shouldn't worry about that. Since the first version came out in 2005, they are still on our Kenyan roads. So that confirms that this car is very durable and reliable at the same time. The prices will range from 1.1 to 1.4, depending on the car dealership you are dealing with. At number six on this list, we have the legendary Toyota Vitz. First generation came out in 2001 to 2005, but the one we are looking at today is 2013 version. It comes in the engine size of 1000 to 1300 
cc and we also have a bigger version which uh, goes to 1.5 liters but the most common ones on the kenyan road is 1000 to 1300 cc it does 18 kilometers per liter which is quite impressive and the hybrid version does 34 kilometers per liter that is quite quite impressive the spares are easily available so you don't have to be worried in case of any breakdown it does five passengers but four will be more comfortable in it it's very durable even the 2003 version is still running prices will range between 1.2 to 1.4 million kenyan shillings at number five guys a car that doesn't need, need any introduction at all toyota probox or you can call it toyota succeed these are two cars but they are similarly they are similar in so many ways the only difference is only the size and maybe the length the so toyota succeed is a little bit larger so these cars uh the toyota probox has two engines uh which is one of them is 1300 cc and the other one is 1500 so you have two options there uh with toyota uh, succeed it only comes in in uh, 1500 cc and all these engines runs on petrol so uh this car is most uh, used by people because of its durability reliability uh, maintenance cost is very cheap and um, they do a really good job so uh in the price range for this car you can get it from as low as 950,000 to 1.3 million kenyan shilling Okay, at number four, we have a Japanese car that is the Mazda Demio. It was first introduced in 1996. I know you guys, you've just started seeing Demio recently. So the one we are seeing there, it is the 2013 version. The engine size ranges between 1.2 to 1.4 liters, though we have a diesel one, which is 1.5 liters. Consumption, perfect. It takes 16 to 30 kilometers per liter. The hybrid version is even much better because it will do 28 kilometers per liter. As you realize, guys, we have so many Mazdas in Kenya, a 10, a 6.5, a Xel, a 6.3. So by so doing, it means we have a lot of spare parts for this car, so you don't have to worry about that. It carries five passengers and four can be a bit comfortable with that. Durability, perfect. That's why so many people are buying the Mazda Demio. Prices range between 800 to 1 million, but the latest one can go up to 1.4 million. At number three, we have the Nissan Note, again from Japan, first introduced in 2004. The current one that we are seeing is 2014 version. The engine will range between 1.4 to 1.5 petrol, but it also has the 1.6 turbo diesel, which does 16 to 20 kilometers per liter. Quite impressive. The hybrid version exists, but they refer to it as e-power. It came out in 2016, which does 20 to 25 kilometers per liter. Spares Parts are easily available, but are quite expensive compared to Toyotas and uh, Mazdas. It carries five passengers who will sit comfortably. Uh, its durability on a scale of 0 to 10, I'll give it 7. Not bad. The prices will range from 900,000 to 1.2 million, especially for the latest version. At number two, guys is another Toyota car, Toyota Paso. So uh, we have chosen a Toyota Paso because of its reliability. Uh, it's a good resale value if you want to sell it later. Uh, this car is also spacious, it's comfortable, and uh, most people use it for their businesses, maybe taxi business, because of its fuel efficiency. So this car uses only one liter of petrol for up to 24 kilometers. That's a good value. And uh, this car has an engine capacity, depending on your uh, what you might want. It has a 1,000cc engine and it has a 1,300cc engine and both use petrol. So uh, for this car, we've made a review of it. So if you would want to know more, you can get into our channel and review and see the video. So this car ranges from a price of 900,000 to 1.1 million Kenyan shillings. But that depends on the inflation in the market. Finally, guys, we've come to number one. 
So number one, we've given it to Suzuki Alto. This simply because this is a very cheap car. Uh, the car has a very small engine. Uh, you can choose from a 600cc to 800cc. The car is also fuel economical. Uh, one liter of fuel of petrol can take you up to 36 kilometers. Uh, this car is reliable, budget friendly, doesn't require a lot of service and can last you a long time. So I don't need much to explain because you all know this car is very reliable. Uh, so guys, uh, this car can cost you from uh, as low as 650,000 to 800,000 Kenyan shillings. Uh, okay, so because we are at the end of the video, we are asking you guys, do you agree with our suggestions? Do you agree with our rankings? If not, guys, please comment and tell us which car you think would take the first position and give us the reasons why. Stay tuned for part two, guys. So guys, we appreciate you for staying with us up to the end of this video. And just to remind you, if you wish to acquire any of those cars that you've seen on this list, please you can get in touch with us with those numbers running below there and we'll be able to sort you out. Also to remind you, don't forget to subscribe, share and like all our videos and stay tuned because we have part two of this video. Ciao! Bye bye!